Alright, so let's do a couple of runs of this, and then a couple of runs of Vector Man 2. Uh, whoa. Ah, uh, went too early. Um, surprisingly, I'm okay, though. Alright. Uh, didn't take damage. That's good. There's honestly not much to it, rooting-wise, half-baked. You just have to make sure you don't die. Health? Happy with that? The main trick that I use in this run is what you're seeing right now. I shoot up and right every time I land. And what that does is it actually resets your velocity to a set number. And that's particularly useful in this level because when you're underwater, uh, uh, you might imagine that is a very handy thing to have happen. Ah, uh, please don't get hit. Okay. Little bit slow, but... I'm still alive. Oh, I got health. Nice. That's going to be handy. Um, well, anywhere, really. Particularly on this boss fight. Um, no, it applies all the time, but you also get, uh, you also get slowed down normally when you hit the ground. You move faster when you're, when you're, um, jumping or boosting, and as soon as you hit the ground, you get knocked back to a certain speed. Uh, there's no unintentional... Uh, yeah, there's no intentional deaths. There might be an unintentional one coming up, though. Please give me some health. Something give me some health while my multiplier's on. Yeah, so one of the potential random drops in this game is multipliers. Got it. Nice. And... When you have a multiplier active, it multiplies... Anything by two, including um, health drops, which is a kind of cool thing of it to do. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and grab the health here. Uh, definitely now. <laughs> So there's a full health here in this box. Uh, it's a bit of a soft option to take it, but you know. Son of a bitch. Ah! Holy shit. Um, I'm gonna have to grab the health here too. I think is the top one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, these things lag the game to shit, by the way. And um lag doesn't actually slow down the in-game timer. Great. Uh, also, that's the only stage in the game where if you hit start after you've beaten the boss or gotten to the end of it, uh, It'll still pause. It'll still pause the game. So there, I was actually trying to slow myself down with shots. This could be really bad, actually. Yeah, I'm really worried about this, because I really need one health, uh, an extra piece of health for the boss of this stage. Yeah, yeah this is not good. I really need a drop. I don't know how to do this fight with one health. <laughs> okay, there we go, there's my drop. Alright. Slow stage, but I had to do that, unfortunately. Alright, and you'll have noticed I took two hits there, and... I should have died, really, but... Um, you can basically chain damage in this game, and I'm just going to take the death there. Because I don't trust myself to get through this on one. Actually, it's more the next stage I don't trust myself. Jet Morph, which is awesome. Fly and Invincible. Nice! That was an awesome stage. 35 seconds, no damage. That's actually faster than my, uh, my SDA run, I think. Unfortunately, I took more damage than I would have liked there, but... Got health. And more health.
Nice! Holy shit, I'm 10 minutes at, at the end of 12. Uh, screwed that up a bit. Ah! Fuck. Ah, uh, whoops. Bad. Hey Dudley Bill. Um Seagathon is on the Glarious channel, not mine. Nice. Um. that health actually but it's all right yeah. okay uh, the fish you have to hit behind the eyes it's kind of a tricky shot that's it um, I will Gladly take this health right now. Nice! Holy shit, that died so fast. Alright, two stages to go. I'm gonna take the health here. There's no reason not to. Fuck, I wonder what this is in game time, though. So yeah, okay, that was pretty slow, but I have six health for this. If I die here, I'm going to be very upset. Got him. Done. 14 18. Holy shit. That's an amazing time. I'm actually going to go back and game time that because that was certainly the best I've done on NTSC so far.